Hi guys, today we are going to be doing a Valentine's trivia video for you and we thought it would be just kind of fun to like have just more of a like not really fashion related video, um, just like a funny video. Um, Lauren's cousin Amy is here and she's behind the scenes to ask us the questions and there will be a winner at yeah, the end. Yeah, so whoever gets the most right wins and whoever gets the least right loses so we'll have some sort of like punishment, punishment disgusting, painful so thing. <laughs> we should watch this video. Do you want to do buzzers? I think buzzers is more Okay, fun. choose a buzzer noise then. Penguin! That's my word. Choose a word. Tiger. <laughs> okay, okay, that's a boring one. Penguin isn't boring? It's more Soliloquy. I'm being left shark. I'll be right shark. <laughs> we have, we've decided our buzzer. She is penguin. Penguin. I'm right shark. Okay, first question. What is the most popular way to say be mine? Flowers, cards, or candy? Pink <laughs> penguin. <laughs> oh, right shark. What? Um, you have to answer now. I know. I'm going to go with chocolates. That wasn't even a... It was a candy. Yeah, that's right. Next question. What card company is the top seller of Valentine's Day? Hallmark! I said penguin. <laughs> Hallmark. I forgot. I think it's Lauren. I have to say you. I keep thinking that my buzzer is a cloth. What percentage of flowers bought on Valentine's Day are bought by men? Penguin. Like, I'll give you like 5%. Right? Okay. Okay, penguin. Uh, bought by men or for men? By men. 70%. Close enough. Ooh. What was it? 65. Hmm. What percent of women send themselves flowers on Valentine's Day? Right shark. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with 30%. Not close enough. Oh man. 45%. Not close enough. Uh, 15. Perfect. 15%. <laughs> Wait, I would think more people would buy themselves flowers. I buy myself Florida flowers. Florida is one of those uh, percentages. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. The O in XOXO means what? Penguin. Me. Hugs. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say that. But you didn't say okay. a long time. Mm -hmm. Say shark. You can just say shark. It's easier. What is the winged child shooting love arrows? Oh! Shark! Shark! I said, I said it right to her! A Cupid. It's Cupid. Mm. What state has a town called Valentine? Shark. Uh. <laughs> Kansas. <laughs> Penguin. Kentucky. Wrong. Nebraska! Darn it. Was it Nebraska? Yeah. No, oh, Nebraska! I always forget about Nebraska. Comment it down below if you're from Nebraska. Nebraska. I forget about you out Nebraska there. Nebraska friends. <laughs> Glad to know you're forgotten about. Which state produces about 60% of American roses? Penguin. Star. Why did I say star? star? I was thinking of the pool game star. Let's get three guesses if we don't get it, it right. It? Otherwise we're gonna guess all 50 roses. states again. Roses? No. Sunflowers. I have to say... I don't even know. What type of climate do roses live in? <laughs> you I have, have to have your Cali answer ready, hunty. I have to say California. You're right. Yeah! California! That's an odd country. Last time I was in California, the <laughs> state. <laughs> what countries have you been? I've been to Texas and Louisiana. Which country began the tradition? Of Valentine's Day? Mm -hmm. Penguin. Uh, the United Kingdom. Correct. What color rose would you give to a friend? Shark star. Yellow. Yep. <laughs> Love messages were sent, were first sent on cards during what century? Penguin. Uh, the 15th century. Wrong. Oh. Shark. Uh, the 1800s. What That's century? century? What century? The 17th century. Correct. How much does the average American spend on Valentine's Day? Star. Like one person or like the country? The, the average, average American. American. Oh, okay. A Benjamin. A hundred dollars? <laughs> Dinner? No. Flowers? Uh, I'm gonna go with three hundred dollars. That's nope. a lot. Uh, fifty dollars. Nope. Two hundred. Mm -mm. Lower or higher? I'm not counting. A thousand dollars. Yes, totally. JK, no. <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like, what? Seventy-five dollars. Perfect. Include children <laughs> exchanging cards. How many Valentines are bought each year? Seven, 700 million, 800 million, 900 million, 1 billion, or 2 billion? Penguins. Mm -hmm. 1 billion. Perfect. Ooh, man. 
What percent of pet owners give their pets a gift on Valentine's Day? Shark! I'd say probably like 40%. Nope. Penguin, 25%. Nope. Penguin, 70? You're not 70. penguin. 75%. No. 50%. Mm. No Valentine's Day in 1876, Alexander Graham Bell applied for a patent on what invention of his? Shark. The telephone. Correct. Huh. I thought it was going to be something different than the telephone. <laughs> That's basic. Okay, Cupid was a son of what Roman god? Shark. Was it Aphrodite? Oh. No, that, that's not a god. Penguin. Oh, uh, goddess. Zeus. Wrong. That's not Roman. It's Greek. Oh, they're Roman oh, ones. Roman. Oh, um, um, penguin. Uh, Mars. Nope. Neptune. Nope. Mercury. That's Venus. There we go. Haha, <laughs> I had it right, but I said the Greek one. In what Shakespeare play is St. Valentine's Day mentioned? Shark? Hamlet? Yep. Haha, <laughs> lucky guess. What fruit is also known as the love apple? Penguin? A cherry? Nope. Cranberry? Nope. A grapefruit. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> a big old honk and watermelon. Strawberry? No. That's three for you. Raspberry? No. It's a tomato. What? I was forgetting that. I knew tomato that. I actually fruit. knew that. Where do you wear your heart if you're quick to show your feelings? Sure. Oh. <laughs> On your sleeve. <laughs> True. Everyone knows the story of Romeo and Juliet. What was Juliet's last name? Mm. Oh, I oh, was a big one. I don't know. remember which one's which though. <laughs> Guess. Yep. Monster. Wrong. Capulet. Yep. Oh, I always get Capulet. them mix them up. People of which profession receive the most cards on St. Valentine's Day? Well, I don't Penguins. think one. Doctors. I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna go with... Oh! Shark. Teachers. Yep. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Ask question. Who is the Roman goddess of love and beauty? Oh, Felix! <laughs> you didn't say shark, you said star. Shark! Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Aphrodite. <laughs> That's not Roman. Oh, Venus. Thanks for the tea that you spilt on my pants. Oh, uh, I spilled it. Because you definitely didn't go like that. <laughs> oh, oh. The winner oh, by two points is Emery. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. one likes you. Time for a punishment. <laughs> yeah, you're not getting to do it though. I know. <laughs> Amy. Oh <I'm> gosh. <laughs> okay, so for her punishment, we are going to mix some things together in a bowl. We broke the blender. Okay, I'll, I'll sit in here okay, so, so I don't know what it is. Okay. So those are two good things. Now I need two bad things. <laughs> Let's get some sauces. Okay, so now we're mixing soy sauce, and I'm going to be quiet because she's in the next room with orangina and sweet tea. And then the for the I know for the real kicker we have some A1 grade cocktail sauce. Ooh, this stuff is thick. It's <laughs> so gross. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't like the sound. <laughs> she says she doesn't like the sound. I'm gonna get a spoon. Yeah, I'll stir this up. <laughs> Wait, can I see a bit more of this? You guys are enjoying this. <laughs> yeah. I'm enjoying this so much. Here, I'm gonna put this in the fridge for now. Okay. You know I have a lovely concoction here. You guys know what's in it, but she's going <laughs> oh, to- Oh, they already know. She's going Fine. to guess what's in it. So, I'll give this to you. <laughs> and you don't understand how nervous I am right sip. now. <laughs> it's, you put like, it smells like sushi. It has like teriyaki sauce or like soy sauce in it. I can tell now. Okay. A big sip. I am. Yeah, yeah. You have to taste it. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's so gross. It tastes like soy sauce. 
<laughs> just tastes like There's a bit of that in there. A bit? You the whole cup is just soy sauce. I mean, <laughs> okay, guess the other. There's one, two, three, four, four ingredients. five ingredients. So soy sauce? One. Yes. Oh, it's chunky. <laughs> Lemonade, that's pulp. Uh, orangina. Oh, well, I saw the pulp. But you can't taste any of the good stuff because it just tastes <laughs> like soy sauce. <laughs> Um, I would count that as a blessing, actually. Tea? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, orangina tea, soy sauce, and... There's something that's not very good in it. Oh, actually, least you can't, there's one thing that's really not good in it. Well, I'm thankful for the soy sauce because it completely covers up the taste Wait, of do it. Do you want to see the last two things? What, what else is I'll reveal it? them. Cocktail sauce? Oh, you can't even see it! Make a guess on the last one. I don't know, because it just tastes like soy sauce. Soap? <laughs> soap. Soap? You can't, like, literally taste I like literally soap sauce. Like, I almost want you guys to taste it just to see what it just tastes. No thanks. I'll like, pass. just put your finger in it and just, like, try it. Like, seriously. It's, like, strangely sweet soy sauce.